Hello and welcome to another video. So this just landed in my mailbox. So let's open it and see what's inside and make something with it. Ah, there we go. All right. Okay, so let's see. Let's dig out the print of the month first. Okay, so this is very pretty and colorful. And the featured artist is Katie Jobling, UK based artist, focuses on documenting life using paint and paintbrush. Oh, there are artist tips. I have a feeling about what we might find in there, but uh, let's uh, check it out. Yep. Ooh, wow. Okay, so we have different kind of things. So first, the sticker this month is beautiful and matches our art supplies, which I guess are oil paints. Yep, water mixable oil colors. Oh, I've never tried these before, so let's see. So the sticker and we have some water mixable oils by Cobra. So titanium white, ultramarine, and primary magenta. We're just missing a primary yellow, I suppose, for a mixing triad, but I suppose this month uh, we'll just do things with a lot of purple. Okay, there is, ooh, scroller box branded brush. It's flat, number 10. A pencil so we can sketch. A 2B pencil, Derwent, and a card. There are lots of ways to apply paint to a surface without using a paintbrush. Use this card to mix your paints or use it to apply them directly to the canvas. The hard flat edges are great for spreading thin layers of paint over large areas or for creating texture to your work. You can even chop it up into different shapes and sizes to create more than one tool and see what different effects you can achieve. Now this I have definitely never used before. I have used oils before actually in art school, but not water mixable and certainly not with a card. And of course for a surface, there's a cute square canvas board, 12.4 centimeters by 12.4 centimeters. Yep, not something very uh, special, just something that we can paint on. And let's take a look at our menu. So July, sometimes trying new art supplies is daunting, that's true. Okay, let's look at our different supplies. The Cobra Artist Water Mixable Oil Paint. Artist quality water mixable oil paint with an exceptionally high degree of pigmentation. Painting with these is the same as painting with traditional oil paint. The only difference is that you don't need all the scary and harmful solvents to use it. So use it straight from the tube or dilute it to your desired consistency with a little water. And also cleaning the process is much simpler as you only need soapy water to clean your hands and brushes. That's lovely. Okay, then we have a Zan. Zan Custom Flat Synthetic Universal Brush with the little scroller box logo on it and a prime stretched canvas panel, the sketching pencil, the palette card. Oh, there's palette paper as well. Here we go. Okay, so that's just wax paper, I suppose. It's okay, that's very useful. I actually have some uh, paper palette. I might use that instead. And of course we have this month's sweet which is vegetarian, vegan, gluten, and gelatin-free, which is nice. And our challenge. So our prompt this month is abstract floral. I suppose that works with our uh, artist of the month and the colors that we've got. Okay, let's clean this up, set up a little, and do some sketches. Okay, so I've unwrapped the canvas and put a bit of um, paper for uh, to protect my desk underneath and I think I'm just going to go uh, to just sketch directly on the canvas. I have a bit uh, a few ideas so yeah so this is supposed to be abstract florals so I'm just going to do rough sketching and I then hope that the paints won't lift the graphite too much. Now 
oils take a long time to dry so I think that I won't bother with doing uh, several layers but just paint everything in one layer at once instead because I do not want to spend a week on this okay so this is actually quite a close-up of the flower that I'm going for it's actually the flower that I'm named after it's a sort of shrub that is um, drought resistant and can be found around the Mediterranean and while its stems are green I suppose that for abstract we can go for blue okay I think that's pretty much what I want to go for so I'm going to set up to paint so I'm going to do the in between the flowers first with a darker color and then go with white on top for the flowers and then shade the flowers okay so I'm starting with a purple I haven't used oils and canvas for for years so it's kind of strange to be doing this again okay, I might have used too much water not enough not sure I think I'd better mix some more color the car did say to add enough water to loosen up the paint but not much more I guess maybe it needs to be a bit more a little bit more I really like this purple that's a really nice purple okay and I'm going in roughly because this is abstract so we don't really need to be exact and I'm trying to start from the left side so I don't put my hand in the wet paint although once I've covered everything it sort of will be a moot point since everything will be covered in paint I'm glad I put that paper down you end up using a lot more paint with these than I'm used to I usually use watercolors and well watercolors especially if you work from pans you just take what you need and there's a lot left over mixing colors with a brush is kind of a gloopy activity I might have put too much water in there I'm not quite sure what's going on in this spot but that's okay oh no I am glad that it's water mixable oils because I really in this weather when you can't open the window it's just the fumes would just be horrible okay so I guess I can use the blank spots for now to hold the canvas so it doesn't slide around yep glad I put that paper down okay nearly there yeah another thing I don't usually do is paint that small this is a tiny tiny canvas and the brush is fairly big but I guess it helps if we want to go for the more abstract looser type I sort of wonder if I can just wash the brush in the water or I could use the color that's already on the brush and mix it with white I'm just going over some spots that weren't quite as opaque as I wanted them to be because I used too much water since it's my first time using this medium okay I think So I think the next step is to add the stems. I'm going to maybe do it in more reddish purple, a bit using the titanium white and just, let's just be generous with the white. And it should sort of blend. Yeah, I'm not sure that was the best idea. Maybe if I use the card, but I'm a bit scared of that. I think I'm going to clean my brush and then try to uh, paint the flowers with the white without messing it up too much. Or let's just go for it because I do want to loosen it up with some water and start from here. I guess the great thing about something, a medium that doesn't dry as quickly is that you have a lot of time to just think while you paint and calculate your next step but also it takes a bloody long time to be able to actually complete a piece so I guess there's there are pros and cons uh, no, that's got too much purple let's add some white and some water 
So after this I'll definitely need to clean my brush because I do want some clean white paint on the brush and it's becoming pretty loaded with paint so very uh, gloopy. Yeah, let's just do this. Okay, the brush is pretty much clean. We can reload and keep going. Yeah, so even though I've got three colors, I ended up just using sort of a monochromatic theme. I guess that's okay. Let's go back and try hard not to put my hand in the paint while completing the first flowers. Too thick. Okay, that's not working like the way I wanted it to because of how easily it mixes. I suppose doing a few layers. Let's just add a small one here. Goes behind. Okay. Oops, too much purple. Okay, so they're ending up a lot more uniform than I wanted them to. So let's just color everything and see if I can bring back in some gradient afterwards with more white on the brush. Now, of course, my water is all purple, so there's no chance that I can get a clean white. Oops, too much water. Just go for it. I mean, this isn't supposed to be realistic, so let's just go for it. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of when I run out of um, place to hold the canvas. That works really well. Maybe I can paint and use the background to add a bit of gradient to those flowers. Oop, that was fun. Whoosh. I can't get my hand to. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then the last flower. I guess I can hold the paper and be very gentle. Hey, okay, that's not bad. Not too bad. Okay, so now let's just add some. I think I want to add one here and a bit here. Now, of course, it takes up background color. This is very different from what I'm used to. Oops, be careful with the palette. Okay, and now I'm gonna add the little thingies at the top. I'm not sure this is actually clear what it is, but it's an attempt and it is supposed to be abstract. It's a mood. I think we're just about done. Let's just look, finish adding those little thingies. Okay, my camera just stopped recording, so I hope I haven't lost too much footage, but it's just the end, so... Okay, I think we're done. So this is it. This is what I could make with uh, water mixable oils with ultramarine, primary magenta and titanium white. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with scroller box, I have to say. And I think I'll continue my subscription because this is, is it, this is a lot of fun. So yeah, anyway, uh, please like uh, if you did like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will continue doing these unboxings and challenge every month. And there are links to my social media in the description below as well as my Patreon. So uh, please take a look. So this was really fun to do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!